Okay, the Philharmonic will be appearing at the Cleveland Asian Festival this weekend, and the buzz has been growing. In fact, I've got one of their signs on my car myself. This L.A. boy band is, performs a variety of styles, all a cappella. Welcome to Cleveland, guys. Thank you. There's the six of you in the Philharmonic. Instead of me introducing you, why don't, we, why don't you introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Joe. Joe. Nico. Nico. DJ. Barry. And I'm Jules. Okay, Nico, you're the beatboxer. Yes, sir. All right, and Jules, you're the vocal bass. The rest of you have a variety of uh, vocal performances. All right, how would you describe your musical style, if you can? Um, I know it's a combination. You got some hip hop, some R and B, which is really cool. Some pop. Yeah, uh, our style we like to culminate both uh, pop, our boy band side, but also R and B, which is our '90s roots that we grew up with. So we like to incorporate both in our music and bring out a Bruno Mars boys to men kind of flair. Now you're from LA, so you've got an urban flavor to it too, don't you? Yeah, you know, it's interesting you say your influence was in the 90s. I was watching one of your videos, Can't Take My Eyes Off You, and you said you were inspired by Lauryn Hill, where someone of my generation goes all the way back to the Frankie Valley stuff. So did you know the original Frankie Valley yeah, songs? Well, we, we arranged that tune for um, a wedding that we had. You know, it was a personalized song for them. And um, we couldn't decide, like, should we do it the Frankie Valley version? Should we do it the Can't Take My Eyes Off You? And I guess we felt like the Can't Take My Eyes Off You was the one. The Lauren Hill that she had done was the one that like related to us the most, so yeah. we put that one out there. That was, that was fun. You know, most of the country in the world outside of Los Angeles uh, probably know you from your appearance on NBC's The Sing-Off. Tell us about that experience. It was probably the best thing that could have ever happened for us. I mean, I know we got together specifically for the show. I mean, it's one of the biggest things you can do as an acapella group, so to just start like that in like, one of the biggest showcases, it was honestly like one of the best experiences we've ever had. So. And what was it like, the format, facing off against another band? I mean, that's, that's a little unusual. Um, well, I mean, as, as the show goes on, you realize that, you know, the music scene is just one big family, so it wasn't really combating against each other necessarily. I mean, obviously, we were head-to-head um, -head in a way because we had the battles and stuff like that. But with judges and stuff, it was really out of our hands, so it wasn't so much um, like, like butting heads. We just were trying to put out the best music we possibly could. And in this era of, some would say, overproduced music and, and machines and computer and sampling and all that, a cappella is difficult. I mean, it's, there's nowhere to hide. It's, you're just out there with your voices. Why did you choose a cappella and why do you like it? Um, oh, you're all, let's hear from everyone here. Um, well, we all kind of um, grew up listening to and, and actually learning music in school. So a lot of us know how to like read music, and we were kind of we kind of went through the educational system, learning that stuff. So yes, acapella is really hard because you know you have to kind of um, isolate your own part, but then listen at the same time. So it is hard, but um, I think that's why we chose it because um, we can do it, um, but it's also a challenge for us musically. And the outcome is actually really great once it comes out the way you want it to. And you guys have not been together that long, actually, in terms of, you know, some bands for 10, 20 years. So how, how'd you get together? Um, well, Jules, Nico, and I actually went to school with um, Avi from Pentatonics, And he actually let us know that the um, sing-off was coming back for the fourth season. So we're like, he's told us uh, that we should probably audition. Because we, we sang in an acapella group with him. So the acapella scene, we're already a part of that. And so we're like, okay, fine. Let's let's do this. So we um, found VJ and Barry through like um, musical competitions. We did jazz and other acapella stuff. So through festivals and competitions we got to meet these guys. All right, I'm going to put each of you on the spot here to give me your main, if you can, musical or performing influence that is really, you know, someone in the past that you really admired or tried to strive for. Let's, let's start over here. Um. Oh, um, yeah, I, I'm really inspired by a lot of jazz musicians. To jazz. Be honest. Like, um, uh, vocalists specifically, probably Kurt Elling. I really like Kurt Elling a lot. But um, I really like um, John Coltrane and artists like that. Wow. That's some difficult stuff to appreciate. All right, how about you? Uh, my top three influences, uh, I would say, are Nick Jonas, Justin Timberlake, and John Legend. Hard to argue. 
<laughs> um, my favorites are probably Beyonce and Justin Timberlake because they're not only great singers, but they're awesome entertainers. Yeah. Uh, I'd probably go with Justin Timberlake and Michael Jackson, just their creativity and their own originality. It's so inspiring. Uh, I grew up listening to Motown, so Stevie Wonder was probably one of the biggest influences for me. See if you've got a, a really broad range of music, and that's, yeah. that's what people can see from your, from your performances. And you have an EP out now. What can fans expect on that? Tell us about the EP. Uh, the EP consists of a lot of the um, songs that we did on the sing-off, but we also have some new stuff, um, like It's Gonna Be Me by NSYNC and um, some Ariana Grande stuff. So a lot of Top 40, a lot of songs that people know, so it's really fun to like blast in your car and sing along with.